in the second Alien vs Predator movie, AVP Requiem, the movie starts at the exact moment the first film finished, on the Predator ship where the Scar Predator's body has been taken on board with an unknown stowaway, a Pred Alien. Once the intruder makes its way onto a scout ship, the vessel detaches from the mothership and begins making its way back in the direction of Earth. The grown Pred Alien begins to wreak havoc on the Outer, and its first victim is a Predator who is seen preparing a Xenomorph Skull. The Pred Alien grabs him from behind and immediately headbites him, and it is his screams that alert the other Predators. As this Yautzer has so little screen time and the film is so poorly lit, we don't get a very good look at him and you'd be forgiven for not thinking anything of the character. But if we take a look at some of the set photos of the costume, we will notice this Predator is in fact wearing a very unique and interesting biomask of which he gets his name from, Bone Grill. He also has a couple of other unique details to his design. If we take a look at the mask up close, you'll probably recognise most of the features and the overall silhouette are very similar to the Celtic Predator mask, except here the section covering the mouth isn't present, and in its place is a grill made up of what look to be long thin bones that look like they could be from the fingers of some animal. I think this gives the mask a really gnarly and creepy look rarely given to Predator designs. The way they have attached bones to a biomask was also seen on the Super Predators Berserker and Tracker, but AVPR was made three years prior, so could this be where that idea for those designs came from? And then if you go back two years earlier than AVPR, there is a costume in Concrete Jungle with an animal's jaw lining the outside of the biomask. Also, it is difficult to see behind the grill whether or not there is any metal behind it, or if it is just open and the predator's mouth is in there directly behind it. If the latter is the case, then this is similar to a few other masks, such as the AVP Elder's Mask and the Ahab Predator's Mask. It's not known why this is, but could it be to make facehugger impregnation easier, giving the outjare an even greater challenge when hunting xenomorphs? While similar to Celtic, the mask does have some slightly different proportions and detailing. At the top, it is lacking a prominent notch, the eyes are a little bit more angular and less rounded, the nose area has some different detailing on it as well, the cheek area inserts are different, instead of the points seen on Celtic's mask, Bone Grill's ones look to have the same shape of the tri-laser sight. The small rounded pieces on the bottom sides have a saw blade pattern on the edges. And taking a look down at the armour, the basic design is a lightly armoured version of the AVP armour, which makes sense as he was a member of the same clan. And around the loincloth, he has some sort of box shaped container and a unique belt buckle and or groin protector made of metal with a kind of anchor shape to it. The Bone Grill Predator is presumably one of the two Predators seen to have been flayed by the Pred Alien in a shot which was removed from the final cut of the movie, of which props were made and can still be spotted in the background if you have a keen eye. This was something that was originally going to be more prominent in the film. Personally, I'm glad they chose to remove it, as I feel a Pred Alien skinning its victims like a Predator does is a bit too on the nose for my liking. Not much else is known about this mysterious character. Even in the AVPR Inside the Monster Shop book, there are no more pictures or information about this character. But I do speculate that since he has the elaborate bone design biomask, and that he is seen at the ship's trophy wall, I think he may be some sort of trophy master whose job it is to prepare all the clan's trophies for display. Perhaps, if they are from Xenomorphs, maybe it takes more skill to prepare them due to the acidic blood. Bone Grill is a rarely discussed Yautzer that even I, until fairly recently, didn't know had a name or that this mask belonged to him. I do remember seeing pictures of it over the years, but I assumed it was just some sort of fan creation or something. For the longest time, I had no idea it was actually from AVPR. 
Hopefully one day we might get a NECA figure of this Predator. Perhaps when they eventually get round to making that wolf figure, they could reuse that body mould and give us Bone Grill and Bull and those others from that opening scene, as they have made figures of some of the more obscure Predators before, like with all the Lost Tribe members and the Ancients from AVP1, so hopefully they'll start making all the Predators from AVP2 as well. Although we haven't had an action figure yet, there was a prop replica of the mask made by Sideshow. As always, make sure to let me know what you thought of this Yauja. Did you know this mask belonged to this character, or is this the first you've learned of it? Remember to leave a like, as that helps out a lot with the algorithm, and you can also become a channel member, which gives you access to exclusive videos and helps support the channel directly, and all for the low low price of 199 or there are higher tiers if you're feeling generous. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.